Joseph Fandema, season high, seven saves against Virginia Tech. He was put under fire. He got both of the starts to open Big South play. We'll see how he does tonight. Bit of a dangerous spot here. Guido, place it back. Ball into the middle, shot deflected. That was Rodrigo Ferreira. Down, shot, and a goal off of Endema. What a ball there, just into the game. I think that was the sub that came on. I think that was Sheck. He, he struck that well, had a lot of movement on it. He just takes a touch on his chest and just dipped at the last minute, didn't it? It looked like Endema had a good beat on it. You could tell Endema really thought he dealt well with it. Yeah, this will be a good angle. You can see the movement on it. You can see he had both hands down and just hits him in the right hand. Ball through. Touch. We're tied. Okanula making the most of his first career start. Does well. Gets released in a wide area. And who does he pick out? Arguably the most dangerous player recently here for Clemson Tigers is Nathan Richmond. Great timing on his run. Good positive first touch. Draws the keeper. And that's actually a more difficult finish than it looks there. Look at all the traffic that Richmond has to negotiate. Splits the two defenders. That was well placed. Yeah, Meinhardt wisely gets out of the way there. And I think corners are so hard to defend. It's an opportunity for the opposition to, to load up in your area. Oh, turnover here. Dangerous spot. Trimnell gets it off. Richmond plays it back to the middle. Shot. Goal! Tigers lead. Joran Jabe. Well, it was just that little counter press moment where Winthrop started to get expansive. Clemson's able to win the ball. The transfer from Oregon State. Well, it's a finish like that that you understand why it was the Pac-12 player of the year. He realizes he doesn't have to hit it with power with his laces. It's just placement. It's a little bit of traffic. Kilstrom can't quite see it until it's too late. Once again, the goal kind of threading the needle. Roble started the break. Smart almost able to get a piece of it. Montana, short, deflected, and a goal. Shift Sean back. Smart again. Yes, yeah, sneaking in. We talked about him and the difference he can make when he gets forward. He ventured forward there that time and stayed up there. Johnny on the spot on the backside. Another look. Lovely ball in behind from Brandon Parrish there. It looked like Meinhardt may have been the initial target. I just went right through the legs of Brian Marshall there to find his way to the back post. Well, Mark knew what to do with it. Yeah, quality the ball from Enrique Montana, hitting that pass, serving it across in one touch. There's always an opportunity to learn about your team, and, and as soon as they went down, you could see the energy level just ramp right back up in that moment. Oh, and there's four. Beautiful. A quick strike for the Tigers. They get number four, and again, just a lethal combination up front. It's easily with the service. Just kind of squirts across and finds Meinhardt, who puts it away. One more big boot from Jack Kilstrom. Let's and that'll do it. As you said, that's going to be Coach Noon's. 160th career win here.